Another quick uh, Vortec LS video here. I'm gonna go through some of the center of the motor, show you guys some. Uh, so a common issue with these is this oil sending unit. So this is on the back of the motor, uh, kind of behind or under the intake. You can see the front of the motor that way. Uh, driver side location. Do not use channel locks on these unless that is your only resort. Uh, this is obviously no good. It was smashed off pulling the motor, but this will happen too. You'll round that off and strip it out and, and all that good stuff. So there's your oil sending unit. That's a pretty common problem on the LS and Vortec motors is this thing going bad. Um, so that's where that's located. Like I said that's going in the trash. And let's try to pry this bad boy off of here. This should not be an AFM motor. Um, if it were, there would be some ways to tell in this valley plate. Perfect. Okay. So, let me go grab that. Yeah, so generally what you're going to have in an AFM is it's going to look like Tron underneath there. There's going to be a lot of weird things running through here. That's to direct oil flow to the lifters when they're shut off and not shut off and, and all that stuff. So this would be a non-AFM valley cover. Uh, they also have aftermarket winds that don't even have these on here. Uh, they make on the ones that are AFM that you delete the AFM on these towers here that come up um, so for instance my 5.3 has them on every single cylinder they make uh, essentially rivet kits to where if you delete the AFM you can go and close those off because that's those are for AFM um, so that's a quick look in the valley covers that's a lifter retainer tray that the lifters did not come out with Sometimes you get lucky and get these out by hand. Let's see if I can get this out here. A little window there, you can see the camshaft down there. Uh, so that's a good place to kind of get a quick look at what the cam looks like. I'm gonna have to get some pliers to grab onto these things. Needle nose work pretty good to get down in here and grab these out. There we go. There's one. So yeah, this is a pretty short one. The AFM ones are much longer and have springs in them. I had some laying around. They might be down in that bucket full of oil now. So nothing special about these trays. They make aftermarket ones of those too. They also make lifters with link bars that are generally more uh, race application. But your push rod sits in this cup. That roller sits on the camshaft. And you always want to oil these up or you can use a assembly lube to make sure that these things are nice and oiled up before you put them in. One of the main concerns with these things that the, is that they can spin so let's say this is your camshaft right so it should be facing this direction here and rolling with the camshaft with the lobes but if they spin they'll sit this way and they will wipe out that cam lobe and then also obviously this lifter which is not a fun fix uh, so that's a concern uh, these are little oil galleys here to keep everything inside this lifter nice and oiled and if I'm able to find one of my old lifters from the AFM motor I will show the difference but they are much longer and have like I said kind of like a spring application for when they're shut down so but the 6 O's are generally non AFM I think they're all non AFM <clears throat> somebody can feel free to correct me if I'm wrong there 
in the Gen 4 years especially. Um, so these lifters generally aren't going to cause you any issues. That's why the 6 O's are generally going to be more bulletproof as well. You're not going to have as many issues. So quick look inside the valley cover and the lifters and all the good stuff. Some of the in the oil sending unit sensor where that's located. Some of the stuff just to check out and pull apart your motor and kind of see what you're dealing with too when you get into that stuff. Uh, if you have any questions on what you've got, you can feel free to send me pictures and I can help out as much as possible uh, or connect with other people too that can also help you out. Hopefully we all, uh, that's the goal, everybody helping everybody. Uh, no, no need to put anybody down that's asking questions and if somebody's wrong on something, feel free to correct them. Again, myself included, I still enjoy learning things. Um, so that's what we're all in this together for. See you guys on the next one.